We're standing in front of this plant here because this lowly plant, Arundo donax, along with a couple of other kinds of reeds, was for for uh, thousands of years, I believe, the basis of their uh, agricultural economy. But these early green shoots, there's a name for this in Iraq, and it's called hay. They harvest it in vast quantities. In fact, almost 60% of their livestock fodder for cattle, water buffalo, sheep, goats, camels, was harvested reeds. If you look at these stalks, these stems, this is a bunch of things. It is rebar, essentially. They would cut this stuff and use it to uh, build entire structures out of. Um, the flaky, dried bits, that was the chaff in mud brick. Uh, the the uh, really mature cane was bundled up in big bundles. You can imagine taking these stalks into a bundle as big as, as around my arms and used as support structures for enormous reed houses and coffee houses. The, uh, the dried material is used as fuel. In fact, this plant is so bioproductive in conditions like this, and I don't know if you can pan the camera along here, but in conditions like this right here in, uh, in South Carolina, as you can see, there's no standing water. They're just out here at the edge of a parking lot. Uh, it can produce up to 55 tons an acre of, of of, of biomass. Uh, the Iraqis knew this, they used it. They cooked with it, they fired their uh, kilns with it. I think we have a lot of opportunity here in South Carolina to learn about how they were so efficient at converting stands of reeds, for example, into the basis of an entire urban economy. And that's one of the